Hi, I would like to introduce Arvid, my arcade video card project. Arvid is an external video card that you can plug to your laptop or desktop PC and generate perfect arcade quality picture on your CRT TV. Arvid is based on BeagleBone Black Mini computer and there is a simple circuit attached to its GPIO pins. The circuit is basically a bunch of resistors converting digital signal to analog signal. The analog RGB signal then goes directly to TV via SCART cable. Arvid supports several arcade resolutions 320, 256, 288 and 384 all in progressive mode. It also supports more than 40 refresh rates ranging from 50Hz to 60Hz. The TV that you can see here is just an ordinary European TV with SCART connector supporting RGB component input. Arvid is connected to my notebook via Ethernet cable, so whatever picture you see on the TV screen is actually generated on my laptop and individual frames are transferred to Arvid over the network. For the best results I am using crossover Ethernet cable that directly links Arvid and my laptop so there is no interference with another network traffic. In average the network latencies are about half a millisecond which is good enough for a perfectly synchronized picture. As you may have noticed I'm running MAME emulator with two arcade games I own. You could see the PCBs of the games on the picture. The first game is Sonic Wings the second game I'm gonna show is Raiden. The emulator is a custom port modified to support Arvid. The refresh rate of both games is 60 Hz and it is perfectly smooth even though it may not appear so on the video as the video is shot at 30 frames per second. If you are wondering whether non-standard uh, refresh rates like 55 or 57 Hz are possible and smooth as well, then the answer is yes they are. The CRT TV just locks to those frequencies and displays steady picture without any jitter. Regarding the picture quality, Arvid supports four resolutions, but because it is programmable, support for less common arcade resolutions is possible. Generation of video signal doesn't involve any scaling or interpolation, so all pixels on the screen are well defined. As you could see on a close shots, natural scan lines are supported via progressive mode. Again, no gimmick is used. The delay between the video output and joystick input is minimal, it's just one frame because uh, Arvid uses double buffering and the back buffer waits for vertical sync to be displayed without tearing effect. And that is a standard rendering technique and in that respect Arvid doesn't add any extra latency.
the plan is to open the Arvid source code and also to open the schematics for the circuit board so you can build it yourself and eventually improve it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.